Hello everyone, this is Pop Potsy here, and today I'm going to be showing you one of the coolest videos from Minecraft you will ever see. So, I'm going to be talking about how to connect a PC um, Minecraft version to Pocket Edition. Now, actually how is a little bit touchy because this is actually the testing versions of things prior to the release of 0.9.0, which will be out on July 10th, which is Thursday. So, and today's Tuesday, I'm recording this on Tuesday. Um, so I'm going to show you guys and actually demo the whole function here. So I'm running a local server of Pocket Mine. Um, this is like a server you would use as Pop Potsy hosting or some other Minecraft Pocket Edition host. So I'll go ahead and multiplayer on my Mac. And it's going to be a little bit slow on my Mac because it's been working hard. So it's kind of laggy. But then I'll hit play on my tablet and it disappeared. Oh, there it is. So I'll connect to it on there as well. So you can see it says this is a beta version of Big Brother. So Big Brother is a plugin that's been developed by Shoghisp is his name. He's the awesome guy who made pocket mine itself and I'm going to change times to zero so it should be lighter on the tablet I don't know why it's so dark why isn't it now, I just did time set zero it's not even showing up oh it's definitely lagging there's definitely some lag going on let's see I think pocket pocket this pocket version hasn't even connected as far as the pop potsy is concerned let me try and type a message I typed hello it's lagging, but as you know, this is a beta version of Big Brother, and this is the beta version, or the alpha build 12 for Minecraft uh, Pocket Edition. So, I'm going to connect again, it disconnected me. By the time, don't worry, because by the time 1.4 comes out for the server software and 0.9.0 for Minecraft Pocket Edition, things are going to be very smooth, there's not going to be weird bugs and glitches like this. So it looks like set time to zero actually did work, it was just lagging a bit. So, now let's see if we can get this PC slash Mac version to connect to the Pocket Edition server. It's pinging the server right now. You can see right there. I don't know why it's not showing up. It should be showing up though. Because it was just connected like a minute ago. So I'm looking at the console too. I'm not recording the console. I'm just recording my voice separately, the Mac, and my Nexus 7 tablet. And it looks like as far as the tablet's concerned, Popotsy is actually on the screen. So, okay, there we go. Now it's, now it's connecting. There we go. Now things are working. Hello, Pop Potsy Nexus. So, you can see on both screens, me walking around on one device, and then this one walking around on another device. And that's actually working. Like, it's actually functional. The head works, so when you twist it around, you look around, it all works. Um, if I were to go over to this tree, you can see I was already playing around with it. So I'm gonna go over to this tree. I'm gonna break it with my Nexus and watch on the PC. So right here, you can see my arm does not look like it's moving on the other screen, but the tree does actually disappear. And right here, oh, it was starting to lag there on my video. So I've actually got the log now and I can place it. It's lagging my device, so you can see. Um, the Nexus 7, it's not the problem, it's the actual server. But again, this is a very early pre-release of everything that's working. So looks like it's not responding anymore. So I'll go ahead and close the app. I'm going to go back into the app and see if I can connect to the server once again. Okay, there it is. So, like I was saying, there's so many bugs with it, but that's exactly what you should expect for an early version like this. So let's see, give it a second before it updates the head rotation and all the other functions of the actual players. It's still it's still getting it's synchronized here. But all things work, though. So, for example, if I were to walk over here, it's still trying to synchronize. It's still taking a second. Come on, see the people aren't moving on properly on the screens, but they were. It's just they're they're kind of glitched for a second. Sometimes it has. I think it has to do with actually connecting to the game. Um, when you connect, it like takes some time to actually register everything and get things synchronized in the right way. So, oh, uh, looks like the Mac one was the problem again. It's completely failed. Let's try and connect it to a game. The server software. Let's see. Let's see what it's doing. So I'm going to type slash help on my tablet and see if it works. Okay, it does. So I got all the commands here. I've opted for players. There we go. Now things are back again. Sometimes every once in a while the connection just simply doesn't work. And I've got creative mode on my PC version. So if I say hello, it pops up on both screens and I say hi. It all works and it's very instant. You can see the text. Watch, I'm going to hit next. Boom. It's that fast. It's like instantly the messages show up. So you'll actually be able to talk to each other. Um, oh, this is awesome. And again, it's oh, it lagged for a couple of seconds, but that's expected. It's a very early versions, like I was saying. 
But that's not even the point. The point is that it's actually working. And I don't understand a lot of people will say, well, look, but the PC can, can sprint, you know, and the other Pocket Edition cannot. I understand there is ups and downs to both. Obviously, a dedicated PC version of Minecraft is going to have a lot more pluses than maybe the mobile version is. But that's not entirely the point. Um, the point is that it can all be unified and all the platforms can play together eventually, probably. Um, Xbox and PlayStation, that's a little bit different because of the actual limitations that are placed based on the approval process and what Microsoft and Sony will actually allow as well as what Mojang has actually worked to do. So uh, those versions aren't completely clear, but the PC and Mac, along with Pocket Edition, does seem to be working. I've noticed that if I go like this, it doesn't seem to hurt the other player. But again, this is a beta version of Big Brother. So many things don't work. Like if I go over here, I can break blocks, but I can't really harvest them. Obviously, I can't do that in creative mode anyway, but I was trying to now with survival mode, but it go. I'm sorry for the lag. This, this computer is so laggy right now. It's like killing itself, which I am recording the audio. I'm recording the video. I'm recording a lot of things. It should be dying, but you know, the Mac was supposed to be able to handle it, but oh well. Um, so on the Nexus, it's actually really smooth. And this is actually a 1.4 server, um, the alpha pre pre-release version. So it is, oh, well, that's weird. That's really weird. It's like stuck in a block. Um, so the, ver oh, what? I just died. That is way weird. I just got stuck in nothing and died. Okay, something's going on here. My, my tablet version's having some errors here, but that's not the point of the whole thing. Um, I think it's really cool. I don't know. I don't know what you guys think. You guys should definitely put in the comments if you think this is cool or not. I don't know. I thought it was awesome when I first saw it. I've been playing around with it forever to get the servers running, all the compatibility things, because certain things with Linux and Mac and Windows, there was like different things going on. Looks like Pocket Edition is not responding once again. So I can relaunch it quite quickly. As soon as the local button shows up here, I should be able to connect back. But it's taking a second. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think about this. And these things will actually be available soon. Especially on Pop Potty servers, this plugin will become available when the 0.9.0 update comes out and all the servers update. So if you think it's awesome, and it will be way better. I'll keep my I'll update a video later on when it's in the further stages because I've, I've said it several times but it's in the beta version I'm just trying to make sure it's clarified so people don't think there's some crappy version you know being worked on it is going to work very well in the end so be sure to subscribe like the video if you like it I mean if you don't obviously don't like it but I, I would guess you would though because it seems like pretty universally people wish that the pocket edition and and desktop versions would actually function together so I think most of you will like that idea Especially since I can show a little bit of a demo. And you can even change these things. I can change what it looks like on the computer. But this is the first time ever that there's been some sort of a way to connect Pocket Edition with the PC. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, comment, like, anything that you want to do with the video. And I will see you guys later with another Minecraft Pocket Edition video.